in the middle of April in a timeline where we were supposed to have the playoffs, but instead we're stuck at home. We have ourselves some trade rumors, legitimate, unfiltered trade rumors that we can indeed have because there's no more season. Technically, there's no playoffs, which means that the trade deadline thing where things are stopped up and we have to wait until after the season ends to make trades, that's not really super enforced in the same way as it was before. So, Elliot Friedman speaking on The Instigators Show on WGR Sport Radio 550 in Buffalo said himself that Chicago Blackhawks center Dylan Strom is available. Like, he's available. I don't think the cost is really prohibitive. No, I don't. The whole thing about this NHL pause is we don't know where any of this is going to take us, so it's a little bit different, but he's available. I don't think the cost is prohibitive. So there you have it. There you have it right there. Dylan Strom of the Chicago Blackhawks, according to Elliot Friedman, is on the market. The guy's available. The Blackhawks would be willing to trade this player. This article I'm reading is SecondCityHockey.com's Dylan Strom available for trade article, so I'll leave a link in the description to that. Dylan Strom has mostly been the Chicago Blackhawks' second-line center this season. He found his way onto the Blackhawks last season after getting traded from the Arizona Coyotes to Chicago, and with the Blackhawks, he got 51 points in 58 games last season. This year, though, the guy maxed out at a very equal 58 games played with Chicago and only had 38 points. So this 23-year-old has been having somewhat of a consistency issue in the league, but a lot of that does have to do with injury. He had a concussion earlier this season that sidelined him for a few games, and he also had an ankle injury, which took him out for a while too. So that's not the best news that you want to hear out of a guy who is still up and coming, who still has his best days of hockey ahead of him, and who can still get better. Now, why exactly is Dylan Strom on the trade block, according to Elliot Friedman? Well, it's because he's one of the many, many Chicago Blackhawks players who is going to be an RFA this summer. And the fact of the matter is, with Taves on your team, with the emergence of Kirby Doc, with David Kampf, and with Carpenter, as well as the guys that you have coming up in the system later on, like Filip Kurashev, as well as college star recently signed Evan Barrett, there's an argument to be made that Dylan Strom is in a quote-unquote expendable position. Mostly because the guy is indeed expiring, and with all the other RFAs, the Blackhawks may want to put more priority onto those other guys as well. They have to sign guys like Drake Kajula, they have to sign Dominic Kubalik, they have to sign Slater Cuckoo, and they have Malcolm Subban as well, who also needs a contract. So there is a lot of money that needs to be shared amongst the players, and the Blackhawks at the moment currently only have $175,000 in cap space. So, there's concern. With all these factors combined, the inconsistency with Strom's game, the amount of centers they have on their team, the amount of players they're going to need to resign, it makes sense why Elliot Friedman is saying Strom is indeed available for a trade. Now, this is going to be really weird because he's already been traded once, from the Arizona Coyotes, aka the Phoenix Coyotes, to the Chicago Blackhawks. Strom went from a top NHL prospect to a guy that was marinating with the Tucson Roadrunners doing pretty well, still as a top prospect, but who could never really get it done with the Arizona Coyotes hockey team. After being traded to Chicago, though, and playing with his former Erie Otter linemate in Alex DeBrinket, boy oh boy, the Dylan Strom just offensively explode. We made a video about this a year ago, talking about Dylan Strom's newfound dominance with the Chicago Blackhawks. He was looking to become really good, and 
potentially even live up to that elite potential that he was establishing for himself back when he was drafted in 2015. But now, if the Blackhawks are willing to get rid of this player, then this could be a potential goldmine for any team willing to take the chance. Because Chicago is in a desperate spot, they need the money, they have the players that they need to sign, and there are so many other center potential players on their team, it's not like, to me, the Blackhawks would take a look at trading Strom and asking other teams, okay, we want the value of a 50.22, 23-year-old center in this trade return. I think the Blackhawks would be a little bit desperate if they want to trade away a Strom, especially considering the context of their cap makeup. Now, you're free to say that I'm wrong. I could very well be wrong, but that's just my educated guess over here. It's very possible that the Chicago Blackhawks find other ways to free up money, and they eventually just re-sign all the guys that they have, including Strom, with no problems. But, obviously, you know, that's just my guess. So... Because I have a big fan base of other teams, I want you to comment in the comments below. What do you think of Dylan Strom going forward? What do you think he has the potential to become? And if you're not a Blackhawks fan, would you want your favorite team to go after this player? If so, what's the max you would give up? Because taking a look at it at face value, Dylan Strom is still a 23-year-old center who got 38 points in 58 games last year. Do the math on that, 38 divided by 58 multiplied by 82, and that's a 50-point pace. He had 51 points in 58 games last year if we do the math on that. He was on pace for 72 points last year in a full NHL season. And he was 22 that year. So, to me, that does say a lot about the potential that Dylan Strom does indeed have. And... Sure, it's not the 80-90 point offensive powerhouse center that we thought he would become back when he was drafted from the Erie Otters, but it may be something that does scream a star. Now, do I think Dylan Strome will become that 80-90 point player? I don't know. No idea. But if he could get a 70 point pace last year as a 22 year old, then anything is possible. Who knows, maybe the Edmonton Oilers try their hand at this, and maybe they reunite Dylan Strome with Connor McDavid. That would be absolutely nuts. They already tried Dylan Strome with the Brinkett, it worked perfectly, the two Erie Otters teammates from before. So maybe it's Connor McDavid's turn to get Dylan Strome back. Maybe if they want to stick on the route of reuniting him with old teammates, they trade Dylan Strom to the Ottawa Senators for some draft picks and reunite him with Connor Brown. That would be really interesting too. Or maybe they just trade him like a normal team would trade him and not think about reuniting him with anybody and instead just take the fun out of it and get rid of him normally. But, obviously, this is all just spitting here, building off of what Elliot Friedman says. Again, maybe they keep him, maybe they re-sign him, maybe Dylan Strom retires in 10-12 years as a Blackhawk. Who knows? But, that's why I'm opening the floor up to you. Comment down in the comments below what you think Dylan Strom can become. If you're worried about what happened this past season with his point production dropping down, and if you're a fan of another team, what would you be willing to give up for this kind of player? Because he still has value, that's for sure. Sure, he is an RFA, but who knows, maybe you can sign him to a short one, two year prove it kind of deal to let him know, hey, we don't know if you're consistent yet. You've been inconsistent throughout your hockey playing career in the NHL. Sign this contract for short and prove to us what you can be. Because maybe that's all he needs to get that kick in the right direction to go back to a 70 point pace or whatever. So comment down below all your thoughts. Personally, as a Vancouver Canucks, Habs, and Red Wings fan, I would be very happy if any of these teams traded for Strom, but I don't necessarily see it happening, especially with Vancouver. We have Petey, Bo, and Goddard already. We don't need another young center. Montreal is in a weird ballpark where I think they could use a guy like this, but I'm not necessarily too sure if it's necessary, and Detroit could really just get anybody at this point and I'd be happy. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Social.trolls99, 
and bye.